welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII, a very eventful reign. But on this day in Tudor history, the 7th of June 1536, there were celebrations for England's new queen, Jane Seymour, third wife of King Henry VIII. Jane had married Henry on the 30th of May 1536, following the execution of his second wife, Queen Anne Boleyn. And Jane's new status as Henry's Queen Consort was celebrated on this day in 1536 with a water pageant on the River Thames, from Greenwich Palace to Whitehall, which was also known as York Place. Here is an account of that pageant by herald and chronicler Charles Risley. Also the seventh day of June, being Wednesday in Whitsun week, the King and the Queen went from Greenwich to York Place at Westminster by water, his lords going in barges before him, every lord in his own barge, and the King and Queen in a barge together, following after the lords' barges, with his guard following him in a great barge. And as he passed by the ships in the Thames, every ship shot guns. And at Radcliffe, the Emperor's ambassador stood in a tent with a banner of the Emperor's arms set in the top of his tent and diverse banners about the same. He himself being in a rich gown of purple satin with diverse gentlemen standing about him with gowns and coats of velvet. And when the beach kings, that's the master of ceremonies, perhaps we don't know. When the beach king's barge came by him, he sent two boats of his servants to row about the king's barge. One of them were his trumpeters and another with shawms and sackbuts. And so he made a great reverence to the king and queen as they came by him. And then he let shot a 40 great guns. And as the king came against the Tower of London, there were shot above 400 pieces of ordnance, and all the tower walls towards the waterside were set with great streamers and banners. And so the king passed through London Bridge with his trumpets blowing before him, and Shorm's sackbuts and drummers playing also in barges going before him, which was a goodly sight to behold. Now, it doesn't sound quite as lavish a spectacle as Anne Boleyn's Coronation River procession back in 1533, which featured a mechanical fire-breathing dragon, monsters and wild men, but it still must have been a wonderful sight. I wonder, though, what the common people thought of it all. A queen executed just over two weeks previously, and now there are celebrations for a new queen. Oh well, let's just enjoy the sight, I bet they thought. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 7th of June 1520, the historic Field of Cloth of Gold meeting between Kings Henry VIII and Francis I began. You can find out more about this meeting and how the two kings tried to outdo each other in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there and it is worth subscribing as there are lots and lots of videos to enjoy and it does help YouTube uh, spread the word about what I do. You can also hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and give me a like and leave a comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.